Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the After Herf Show. I'm your host, Caleb, and with me, as always, is my guy, Jerry. What's up, dude? Peace, dog. Peace, baby. What's up, Caleb? All right, and guys. How you doing today? I'm doing good, and also with us, you know him, you love him. He's got the tightest shirts in all of Ireland and America, Geo. And special guest to the After Herf, we have John from Cigar Vets. How you doing, John? Big John, motherfucker. Yo, 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 yo. Glad to be here for the After Herf. I feel like we had an After Herf. This is the After After Herf. True. True. <laughs> Things we get. we did just watch uh, what half that uh the the Burt Kreischer yeah. Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle. That was pretty funny. Razzle Dazzle. Shout it out, is funny. Shout out to Bert, a big cigar guy, just like uh us. So what are you guys smoking? Big I got, tech guy too, by the way. I know. Him and what's that other comedian? Is it Mike uh the bald guy? Big big uh, um he Mo talk, talk tap Mo talks about him all the time and uh, he's he's been on he's been in like photos with Mo too. He's a comedian, he's bald. I think his name's Mike something. I don't know. I mean I know Theo Vaughn smokes cigars. I don't know. This Mike guy, I'm pretty sure it might be the same guy I was talking about on uh Rogan who like made the NW AIDS joke. <laughs> <laughs> could could have been, I don't know. I, I for his name is drawing I, a blank, but I remember him being a bald guy, so it might be the same person. I want to say Mike Kelly, but I don't know if that's like, that's, that's like a common name. It's not Mike Kelly. Uh, I thought it was uh, Mike, Mike Kelly's something. Buffalo Happy Hour. Yeah, it's the Buffalo Happy Hour guy. Honestly, that's a very popular name. It could be a multitude of guys in the whole United States. I, I'm going to look through now. On yeah, you got to look through Joe Rogan, Burt Kreischer podcast. Um, you got to find it. But anyways, this is the After Earth show. We got John on. Honestly, today is a show about really nothing. So you can consider this the Seinfeld episode because nothing is planned. We have no idea what's going on. And no, no real t- talking topic points. Nothing like we nothing. just kind of were like, fuck it. Let's do an after her. I love that. Feeling the vibe. I think it's this Mark Normand. Oh, no, that wasn't the same guy I was thinking. This, If you look at Tap Moe's like, profile, you will see this guy. He's a big New Jersey comedian. Moe's definitely talked about him, and he is a big tat guy. Um, You'd have to look through Moe's Tommy. Instagram. Isn't Moe yeah. a big fan? Isn't Moe a big fan? like friend of Burt Kreischer well this guy I thought is, he was friends with them. this guy that I'm thinking of is one of Burt's friends they all tour the same they've been on Joe Rogan um he's white he's a little chubbier and he's bald I think his name is Mike something but he's definitely <clears throat> if you look at Moe's Instagram you'll find him and well, now I'm just gonna look at tap Moe's Instagram. yeah just find that wouldn't that be something to get somebody like Burt on the show well you know what I always thought you you are a big tattoo collector and you have all this rare shit what if one of these guys wanted something so bad they couldn't find it? And Mo was like, dude, I know the perfect guy. It's Jerry at Down to Her Podcast. All you have to do is drop in, call into their show, be a guest on their podcast, and Jerry will give it to you. Like, I guarantee it. I would give him an entire OG Monster series just to come on the show and hang out with us. I, I don't have a million dollars to fucking book a guy like that, but I feel like to get a guy like that on the show just to <clears throat> smoke like an OG tat. It's how Robert crazy. Kelly. How crazy would that be? I found it. It's Robert Kelly. There he is. All right. I was first name wrong, last name right. So I'm halfway there. 50-50 right there. But uh, what are you guys smoking tonight? What do you got, Jer? Uh, just another one of those United, uh, the Wiseman uh, firecrackers. So just been really on a United kick, especially with uh, the firecracker size. Perfect dog walker, great cigar. So, no complaints here. It's definitely something that, uh, you know, a little unorthodox <laughs> show with zero topics and, uh, you know, Listen, zero format. Definitely the way to go. I am also smoking a firecracker, Wiseman. These have been pretty much my go to after her cigar for a while now. It's just the perfect size for it. But I can't wait for those EP Carrillo Pledge firecrackers. We did. We did talk about that release that's coming out. John, did you see those? The I haven't. you know about the EP Creo Pledge uh, Cigar of the Year twenty twenty, obviously. Yeah, and I didn't like those. They what? I didn't like. <laughs> Hold on. Really? What? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. I smoked, dude. Like, I smoked two, and I what? was what? Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! I mean, hey, this is why you know it's each yeah. their own. I'm not gonna hate on it, but I loved it. I, I got that react reaction a lot, man. It was. And I like E.P. Carrello. I like him. 
Well, I haven't you... had his allegiance yet. I've heard good things though. Upcoming for a, a down to her f- show. Um, but John, what are you smoking? I already know what it is. It was my number one cigar of 2022, season one. But I'll let John go ahead and explain this, this, that. This Latier. I mean, you can probably speak more to it than I can. It's the herb. It's the yeah. herb. Hell yeah! And, uh, I mean, it's it's burning great. Watch the razzle dazzle with it. So, have you smoked one of those before? I don't think so. Oh, so it's got that Creole. Not this wrapper. particular blend. Yeah, so this that one's a treat. I picked up a box like late that they just happened to be have laying around, and I was like, you know what? Why not? There's you only bet. like 500 boxes. I oh, mean, this is, this is solid. Yeah, they it's said a, 500 boxes yet. They How do the, I keep getting they, them? Like in the Britannica size, like how do I keep getting them, Jared? The reason being is because the minute you're you're always on the lookout <laughs> for stuff like that, you see that you're like, oh shit, let me get a couple of these. Like you know they're rare. The average person's gonna see that once, maybe buy one and be like, oh that was awesome. Hey, I had this random cigar, and then they're gonna go into a shop and be like, yeah, that was like super limited, and uh, good luck finding it. <laughs> so I got a quick question. You got a box, you just said. Jerry, you got a box, too? I have a box. I have... Like an open box? Mm-hmm. I have an open box. I have... Uh, I got some Lucy's. I, I, got right. a, I got a bunch of shit just... I only ask. My supply, aging. My supply is running low. I might have to, like, maybe just spend a couple skittles and uh, buy one <laughs> off of you, too. All right. Tommy? Yeah. Tommy's got to. an open box. All right. All right. All right. I, I know they're harder to find now. Yeah. But I, I hope, did see I that hope they you only enjoy he, that, John. He only had like uh, two or three singles left out of that last box, dude. So, oh, maybe. there's not much left. I thought there. I, I could have swore there was like five or six, but maybe it's okay. Let me ten. ask you this: two, three, five, six. You're talking about uh, yeah. one quarter of a box. That's two it. versus a five pack. Well, I hope John really enjoys that cigar because that was, like I said, my number one cigar of season one. Awesome smoke. I loved it. Off to a great start. It's a very unique blend. Uh, what was it? The uh, Extension Racine Britannica. Or no, the B standard for something else. I yeah, think. the Racine. Uh, the Britannicus. Uh, but there was herbs before. Like I just don't know. I remember what the B stood for. I thought it was it just was a like different the, Vitola, the 2016. Ex- Extension Racine. And then the Britannicus. I would have uh, to can't really remember dude i can't remember but i do know it's like a criolla or criollo 99 nicaraguan wrapper nicaraguan tobacco filler and minor so really good cigar super solid super solid solid. you should enjoy it well and that was one of the that was one of the questions on uh our giveaway show for john and he got it right too right the darkest rapper that was the exact question yeah Yeah. securo yeah i'm glad you knew that man you know. I'm glad he did too, man. I put together that five pack with intentions of giving it to you. So uh, you don't just put together a five pack. You know, I got lucky, and with the help of my 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 audience, this is going to be aired before the show comes out. So unfortunately, we just kind of gave away uh, yeah. what happens. But we did a little spoiler alert. That's what yeah. we like to do on the after show sometimes. Yeah, but you have everything. to see how I got there. My my cigar IQ is not the highest, and I had to rely on some some assists to get there, and to see what I won on this <clears throat> this show is phenomenal. Uh, down to hearse, up to some some new tricks, and uh, hey, it's also an incentive to come to the show. All right, that's a whole fact. It that was, is a whole fact. It was Britannica, so we were right. The other ones were in the series were just Extension, De La Racine. There was the ER thirteen fourteen. Yep. Yeah, that's what cool. I thought. Yeah, the the B was for Britannica. Yeah, but prior to that, it was just the year they were released. Yeah, but these were that was the first one since I believe 2016. Oh, I'm sorry, 2017 was the last time they came out with them. Caleb. What's up, my guy? Do we have anything like planned for the show at all, dude? Like, I look, dude. We went, we played. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Sorta. Dude, I look. I, I I swear. Like, what are we doing? This was That's very... the episode title, though. Who wants to be a cigar vet? Oh. oh, get yourself a membership to Cigar Vets. Cigar Vets. Club monthly and title annual spoiler membership. off the top of my head. Let's like that. go join the club, be a part of the Cigar Vets community. We are very inclusive, not exclusive to anything. 
mature, professional men and women who enjoy the love of the leaf. Let's do it. I got a question to ask. How do you let mature professional adults into the club? And I am neither of those things. <laughs> well, you, 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 won, <laughs> you, you won your membership. <laughs> There's no screening criteria, <laughs> you know, but uh, that's the type of people that, that, you know, like, again, it's not our day in, day out uh, hobby is, is not cigars. We work. And at the end of that long day of work, the cigar helps you through it. It helps you decompress, you know, and deal with all the shit that life throws at you. Cigar therapy is real. And, uh, you know, I think we need more of it these days. I don't know, man. I got to start uh, restricting what I smoke at work because I had this experience where I smoked a cigar I was really looking forward to. And that was a mistake because... Uh, it just so happens to go that whenever I smoke a cigar I'm really enjoying, that's the day where we happen to be off the wall busy and like nonstop and I have to do the, oh, all right, I'll let it out. Like it got to a point where it was like, I'm not putting it out. I'm answering the call with it lit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Geo, I got to say it. I gave one of those cigars to John mm -hmm. in this giveaway, which was the. Was it the Yellow Rose? Yep, Crown Heads Yellow Rose. Just just dropped again after four mm -hmm. years. All right. I got to say, is that one that we need to get a box on, dude? Because I smoked one the other day, and it was amazing. So I will talk to you about that later. I found a spot that has it for like 180 bucks for a box. So you want to split that? Good deal. I mean, I think I might just buy an actual, but they're pro I happened to be following Miguel's story, and he was posting shops that had it. Yeah. And, like, they were a quote-unquote price to move. Okay. So we're thinking maybe we get those. I think that's a cigar that we need to do on the show. Like, yes, would, would, would you it. agree? Would you agree to that? Absolutely. They just dropped. So... I mean, for those of you don't that don't know about the Yellow Rose, Crown Heads has four regional exclusive cigars. It's the Tennessee Waltz. It's only available in Tennessee. The Yellow Rose is only available in Texas. The Buckeye Land is only available in Ohio. And I forget the name of it every time, but it's only available in Hawaii. Crown Heads Ooh. does one day. They call it Lawless Day, and they allow all their retailers to order without any restrictions. So that's why, like, you see a shop that gets these, and they're only able to get four or five boxes because by the time, like, if they're not paying attention, they're out. And Crown Heads, they put out some crazy LEs. So uh, the Tennessee Waltz, the Yellow Rose, uh, they're some solid, solid smokes. Um there's different Vitolas among each. They will uh, change the color of the actual ribbon, and that's how you know between the two of them. I know the Buckeye blend was red, obviously. Um, I think the Tennessee one is orange, and then obviously the Yellow Rose is yellow because of Texas. And I, the Hawaii one is what I forget every single time because it's the harder of the four to get. Well, I mean, like if you're able to get them, I feel like it's definitely something to jump on. Crownhead's been dropping some shit lately. Like, fucking, they seem like they've been super busy dropping some bangers. Uh, I don't know. I, I I haven't really smoked the Crownheads that I think of that that I didn't like. That being said, okay, I looked at Crownheads, uh, fucking killing it. And what's really nice about that, that uh, John, is the fact that our boy Jake. Comes on the show all the time, mm. and we have a really good relationship with him. Dude, shout out Jake Sanders, my boy. Give him a follow on the Facts. IG. And, Absolutely. And, and make sure you check out the two episodes he's done with us. Always fun. He's brought the heat. Jake's Great finer time. life. Give him he, a follow. he will definitely be back again probably within the next few months. So I looked up the Hawaii one. It's called the Paniolo Especial, and it's a light blue ribbon. Ooh. I um, feel like if we get our hands on that, that's something we So they haven't try. released it since 2015, and they didn't even release it in this blend. Um, neither did they release the Buckeye Land. I understand that because there's been some issues with their factory sourcing because of the split with Luciano. Uh, 
which I was just looking up. They rena- he renamed Pichardo. Uh, they were just talking about it. I didn't remember. I don't remember up team, but I don't want to support that guy, so I won't even give it the glory. So of the lookup. obviously, you heard a lot of the the bad talk. Uh, yeah, we will no longer be supporting Pichardo, Luciano, Luciano whatever, any of those brands. We will not be supporting them. Uh, but yeah. Uh. Back to you, Gio. Razzle dazzle. Razzle yeah. dazzle, baby. I mean, as far as like current cigar releases, that's definitely like it was on my radar. Like I was trying to find original blends, and it just so happened like while I was looking through this, I was like, "Oh, they're re-releasing them. Cool. I don't even have to look that far." And each one of those regional releases is a different Vitola. Um, I believe at least the Tennessee Waltz and the Yellow Rose are the same blend. But the Tennessee Waltz, obviously, because Crown Heads is based out of Nashville, is kind of like their baby. Uh, the original one got a 90 on half wheel, which to get that, whew, you got to put out some fire. Anything over, I'd say, anything in the 90s on half wheel is fire. That's something you need to get. Yeah, exactly. Well, anyways, guys, what are we drinking tonight? Because I got this Jack Daniels and Coca-Cola. <laughs> and dude, this thing is like, it's straight fuego. It's fire, man. Fuego. And also in this cup, you know what I'm drinking. It's our Clonic Hilti single barrel pick. Got to drink it all throughout the St. Patrick's Day weekend. We only got 21 bottles left. Possibly less than that because I think I have three more sold on Monday. But man, very limited. We're going to drink it. It's our it's our show's bottle, man. So I'm drinking it. Are you guys drinking that as well? I actually am drinking also the Jack Daniels and Coke. Uh, with a little Breckenridge rum cast, Geo uh, Geo is a big fan over there. So that bottle, man, it's so good with a cigar, and the rum must just bring out the flavors. Cause like, no bite, so smooth, and like, I feel like it doesn't matter what I smoke. I don't ever have to worry about that overpowering it. How do we all hold up for St. Patty's Day weekend, dude? I mean, we're here. Yeah, hey, we're here. Fuck what did you do? go out at all, what John? Did you, do, John? Uh, you know what? I did you make it out at all? No, I think the night prior uh, prevented me from really going out Friday night. Oh boy, Saturday, yeah. We ended up going it out on Friday night after the show, and uh, sheesh, late, late, late release to the St. Patrick's Day special. But you know what? It's a lot of hard, hard work. Obviously, you know Jerry puts a lot of time and effort into that. But, you know, he also had a sleepover, a hangover. He was out. Him, Gio, and Rachel were out for a while. So, you know what? You know, give the guy a little credit and some slack. Big you props. Know, you, you, you know I'm out here slinging episodes for you guys and definitely doing what I can. But uh, it doesn't always work out. <laughs> uh, my hangover really, really prevented me from... I went for brunch today and did I went I went to brunch. Uh, Where'd you go? So there's a new place that opened up uh, at the old Eastern Hills Mall on Transit. It's called Steel Leaf, and it's it's a little brewery. A lot of square footage in there. They have cornhole and you know uh, frisbee hockey, all that good stuff going on. What the on. fuck is frisbee hockey? Or what do they call barrel frisbee or some shit? Frisbee golf. There you go. They're fucking. Oh, frolf. What, what did you call it? Frolf. Frolf. Yeah. yeah. Frolf. My no, froth. My my little brother with a the big with the player. cage with the no. With it's the like ca- a barrel. You throw the frisbee and you got to or can the, jam, can jam. That, that's see, can jam. Too many options. Barrel, Maybe dude. it's a combination of both. Too many can options. jam and froth together. This, this place, uh, anyway, it's cool. It's it's new. I think they've been open a few months. And uh, but you know what? I had to get a green beer for brunch, just to finish off the fucking the weekend. You know, so uh, they had corned beef. They had a lot of like menu items. That I felt a little concerned. I didn't want to order Sunday afternoon because I felt like it might have just been leftovers from Friday. <laughs> you know, like they're just trying to get rid of shit. So I went with a I went with a uh, sandwich. <laughs> this is like uh, bacon, egg, and cheese on a brioche bun. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't really sound that bad. No, it but their bri- their version of a brioche bun is a fucking hamburger roll. <laughs> oh. I was like, yo, this is what you call that ain't brioche. It. <laughs> that ain't it. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> like, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the breakfast sandwiches. I, I rock with them. Yeah. See, so like my Saturday, 
Uh, I ended up going to Barbell, got some wings with uh, my buddy. The original or North? The OG. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with the North. I don't north? go north very often. North around the corner from the house, so I go for lunch quite often. Yeah. We, we, we. I feel like as men, we just can't leave the south. We don't want to get too far north. Too uh, many people, yeah. man. There's a lot going on up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, right I'm there. mid. Everything's five minutes from me. Like, I mean, I'll I'll go for like a nicer restaurant, you know, like a John Carlos or something like that. Like, all right, I got to make the trip. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I feel it. But at the same time, I can also spend like. 70 less dollars and go to left bank and still get some really good food stole lot you got to go to stole lot though pierogies oh hell yeah on point man on point i gotta i, I mean gotta, you're you're speaking his language right there that's all i got the head speaking yeah. of pierogies our our holidays coming up caleb dingus day is next so we will have that dingus day after her down to her special going on and we'll also be going out so look for us that monday after easter i think it's the 10th right is Dingus uh, Day? Yes. I think it's four times. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we'll be dropping that down to her, uh, after her Dingus Day special. We'll be drinking a Krupnik. We'll be smoking some, probably Pestania cigars, man. Another War Bear, perhaps. Or something like that. But we will be... Usually, the War Bear is out by now. Oh. I, I'm, I, I gotta talk to Mike about that, Well, what that, about that honestly. new uh, Broadleaf that they're dropping? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if the they're gold. dropping that in oh, okay. in replace of the War Bear, but I, you know, I got to talk to Mike about that. Yeah, we'll see what's happening. Big news, big things coming. But uh, I will say we are off Saturday the ninth, uh, Easter the or no, sorry, Saturday the eighth, Easter the ninth, Dingus Day the tenth, and Tuesday yeah. the eleventh. Bad recipe for a bunch of Polacks. Hey, I can't wait. One of my favorite holidays to celebrate besides Halloween and Christmas. Yeah, so we're, I'm ready for that one. I'm just going to throw it out there. We're going to skip the Central Terminal this oh, year. Oh, hell yeah. Let's skip that this year and let's stay local. Yeah. Or just so stay local. I was uh, actually really laughing at the... I re-listened to the Dingus Day special from last year. And do you remember the the crack smokers in the bathroom bro this bar didn't have fucking electric no but do you remember <laughs> yes. the crack had smoking crack in the bathroom while we were just trying to take a piss yes and like i'm just like why are we here i could arrest you right now i mean i could instead like all the <laughs> other bars have like music playing like they're like lights on they got a big ass bluetooth speaker <laughs> Probably alcohol that's been sitting there since the dingus day prior. And it, I doubt, well, it's cold as shit, so the beer was probably cold because there's no fucking heat either. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why talking about dingus day makes me think of this little Johnny joke that I know. I'll, I'll tell it. Do it. Uh, tell look, it, look, dude. Look, throw myself out here. I might bomb. No razzle dazzle, right? So No Burt Kreischer here. <laughs> Little Johnny's walking down the street one day and he's got a arm full of rolls of duct tape. You know, oh old man sitting on his porch and he's like, Johnny, what, what you doing with all that duct tape? Johnny's like, I'm going to get me some ducks. <laughs> old man's like, oh, little whippersnappers. They don't know what they taught me. He, they crazy. A few hours goes by. Little Johnny comes walking back up the block with a whole bunch of ducks. Old man scratches his head. He's like, man, these little kids, they're crazy. I'm telling you, they're crazy. Next day, Johnny comes walking down the street, and he's got a whole bunch of boxes of chicken wings. The old man's like, what you doing with all those chicken wings, Johnny? I'm going to get me some chickens. Old man's like, oh, these young whippersnappers, they're crazy. I tell you, I tell you, they're crazy. A few hours later, Johnny comes walking back with all these chickens. Old man's like, wow, they're they crazy, they're crazy. The next day, Johnny comes walking down the street, got his arms full of pussy willows. <laughs> Old man's like, hey, Johnny, hold on, wait for me. Let me get my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You, A good old Polish joke. Hey, I like know. that. And no. you for sure brought the razzle-dazzle with that razzle joke. Dazzle. A that's a razzle-dazzle. Oh, yeah, that's got the riz for sure right there. Rizzy. I'm coming with that kid on Dingus Day. <laughs> <laughs> is, that's not trademarked, is it? Oh, fuck if I know that's some old army <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Dingus Day. Dingus it's only big here. Yeah, I never heard of it anywhere else. We're gonna have we're gonna have fun as always on Dingus Day. You know what I really liked? I liked how we ended up at Docs. I was a fan of that. 
because it was outside of the craziness. But like as we were there, it started getting crazy. I like that. It was a good way to end the day. I like that we just had that limo bus that we definitely did not take advantage of. We should just have a uh, res drive. I actually asked him about it already. What did he say? You just let me know the day. Oh, okay. All you right. just let me know. I was ready for like the. the no, no, I'm down. We're script. He, he, we're he's all up. about it. We're scripting up plans right now. He's he's already about it. Dingus oh, he's day. 20- already about it. G. Ding, Dingus day 2023. He's already about it. Look for the down to herf crew. We'll be out there. You already know. Oh, it'll be fun. What we should do? I already got my red tight shirt. <laughs> we uh, man we should think of a place to just do like a that portable episode and then like you know what though i like the after herf idea just to do it and then just not worry about any of our shit no i i get that part but i also like the idea of like just doing an episode and then like you know absolute craziness just just the dealing dog. with the community while we're doing the show and then, you know, if going you, out and having fun after. I'm sure, like, we'd have to figure out some logistics there. Because even, like, something as small, like, when we did the road show at Nickel, like, it was tough to, like, get the background noise out. Like, I, I can only imagine a dr- bunch of drunk Polish people. I think with all the connections that we have and all the places that celebrate Dingus Day, I think we could cook it up. I got family members that own bars. Somewhere. We I, I, Gio, I feel like somewhere we could we could make it work. I we could a, make it work. I met a guy the other night at Hutch's, and I, I forget his name and the name of his establishment, but he, he came up to my friend and I, uh, he, he introduced himself. Hey, I own a restaurant in South Buffalo, such and such. He goes, we're only open on Wednesdays. And I'm like, well, how do you have a business in a bar that's only open on Wednesdays? He goes, we rent the space out all the other days. I don't know. I, I got the card at the house. I have to show you. I like that. I do like yeah. that. I've seen that on TV shows where people come in and they will rent out a place. They'll come in. They'll bring their own staff, bartenders, cooks, chefs, waitresses. They'll bring everyone in and they only do it for a day or two. And that's it. It's gone. It's they pop up. Yeah, it's a pop up for like a day or two. I've heard about it. It's on like Food Network or whenever you watch like Chopped or something like that. Food Network. You oh, big, yeah. you big. Oh, Dude, only one of the most Food movie. Network guy, Caleb. I oh mean, yeah, I love the Food Network. Guy Fieri, Chopped, give me all that shit. Guys, but, poster game. Oh, I yeah. met that motherfucker. Not a nice guy. Oh, I'm well, just, there goes our sponsorship yeah. from Espinosa right there. But you can, yeah, get, <laughs> right? You can still get a sponsorship from Dude Wipes. Listen, <laughs> to be fair, I think the Dude Wipes sponsorship would be more valuable. Do yes. you think? I feel like Dude Wipes would definitely sponsor something like this. For this men. is this is all dudes, man. Oh well, man. And, and, and Rachel, and Rachel, and Rachel. Listen, do they have chick wipes? Listen, dude Whoa. wipes. Do they have that? Our universe comes in lavender <laughs> Ro- and rosé. We did talk about the bidet a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, touch, did, we touch. did. You know that kind of goes into my experience. At, so my buddy let me, you know, stay at his house for a few days while he was out of town, and he had a bidet, and I never tried. This particular bidet, you know, lived in Europe, and the bidets are a little bit differently. Uh, this is a toilet seat that has a mech. For, well, the toilet seat is heated too. I didn't mention oh, that. Oh, nice. I've those. never used the listen, bidet, listen, so this matters. Fucking, a heated toilet seat alone here is enough to make your ass sit sit on it and try it, right? It piques your interest. Nice for those <laughs> long dumps. Right? So every king needs a throne. Look, I'm not going to lie. It had a controller on the wall. <laughs> so you're sitting there. I, I, you're, I've seen these. Like, and you're like, I'm curious. And there's options of different pulsations and pressures. <laughs> and so I would, does a bidet really work? So I had to try it during my stay there. Like, do I need to wipe first with toilet paper? And then does this do like a final rinse? And then I had to test it. What's the outcome, right? Like what works? So I tried all the different variations. I tried it without the toilet paper and verse, but. The ultimate surprise was the the blow drying experience. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, (laughs) you know, I'm hot, hot, hot. I'm I'm sticking with toilet paper and dude wipes. So, so, so my my question is: Was it like an enjoyable experience? At least it was. But was it like weird? It was definitely weird. But the more weirder part is the air that blows out to like dry your ass. 
It was fragranced. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? what like fuck? I love it. I love it. I like, love it. Oh. I have a friend that has a bidet at his house and he was bragging about it. And I was like, dude, I gotta try it. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten, I would recommend. Definitely going back there to this friend's house. Shout out to you, Nate. You know what I'm talking about. So I, I just we'll envision there that, again. <laughs> I, I I just envision this like machine shooting water in your ass and it's like unenjoyable look look this fucking thing it comes out of the back of the toilet seat and and depending on what you it kind of goes back and forth and oh, it's like a at an angle up in there and it's like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> like it's getting you all gotta, the angles man it's you gotta spread your you gotta spread your cheeks no, to get just, like a good you're like just sitting man you're sitting you know but i power washing the ass look i never gained the confidence to get up off that thing and just go about my business Dude, you're talking not. about like different heat settings, this and oh, that, but like this is extreme. Let I me know. ask you this, Caleb. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm coming right for you. Yeah. All right, shoot me straight. Dude shits in a toilet. You get on there, you sit down, the toilet seat's still warm. Uh, kind of weird, man. Kind of right? weird. Yeah, it's like, weird. It's a hundred. If if it's a heated toilet seat, now that's a different. No, story. I get second. it. Wait a second, yeah. though. You can't tell me. If you sit on the toilet seat after your your wife, and it's already warm, you don't appreciate that shit. Come on, That's, this is a big. This is this is for this you is, married folk. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a married man. I gotta say, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get into the specifics I, of my wife's uh, <laughs> lavatory usage, but I try not to pay attention to it. We've been married for a year and a half. And she still puts the faucet on while she uses the bathroom. Yeah, I'm I'm look, been with my wife for thirty years, man, over thirty years. So. Still puts the faucet on. She doesn't want me to hear it. <laughs> when that shit changes, you have a reason to be concerned. Then <laughs> she does not want me to hear it. That's the first indicator she's giving up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. So oh, man. all right. So that's what I got to look forward to. See, I don't know. She I... still puts the faucet on. I, I'm a very uh, open person about my bowel movements, as you would know, working with me. I'm like, yeah, I just took the biggest shit ever. Geo, <laughs> I feel like I know more about his bowel movements than most people. He's, Geo's got those big Geo. protein shits. <laughs> protein shits. Geo, when he farts, you're just like, oh, he dude. clears the room. What the fuck did you do? He clears this. He clears out this. He clears out the lobby. Now, poor Nikki. She's. Like, Is she accustomed to this yet? I mean. The thing is, is like she's got no choice. I, I, I fart around my girl. She's farted near me, but like she like makes it sound all dainty. She's like, "I'm sorry, I have to puff." <laughs> like, wow. Poop. Toot. Oh, what the? But hell? like, you never what was that. You never hear it or anything. Like it's like a dude rips ass. You're like, you're expecting the fucking the room shake to hear. I, I don't want to put any X's on blast, but dude, I had this one X who never ever farted. <laughs> Had a big Super Bowl party at my dad's house. She fell asleep during halftime. And this was the one in New Orleans where the power went out. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, during the halftime show, she fell asleep. She farted so loud in front of all my family and friends. <laughs> she woke up and goes, what the fuck was that? And everyone at the party looked at her and was like, that was you. You ripped ass. She's like, did our Super Bowl numbers hit? <laughs> and I was like, "No, you just like woke yourself up with a fart." And this is a true story. You could ask anyone in my family, and they will you, you know laugh you, their ass telling you the story. That's called the thunderclap. <laughs> thunderclap. I'm not gonna put anyone on blast, but that is a true story. And dude, everyone in my family will still laugh to that to this day. I, had, I'm telling you what, my old J. My JV baseball coach was there too, and he still brings it up, and he still thinks it's funny as hell. Back to our sponsorship, dude. Dude wipes, wipes. yeah. Get dude, him. can we get dude wipes to fucking sponsor us? I don't know how we do it, but tag them. We'll tag them. This is a good enough show that dude wipes should jump on board. What dudes? Uh, this is a good enough. They're show. veteran owned, right? They're veteran owned. They support law enforcement. Mark military. Cuban owned. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's dude it. <laughs> but also, <laughs> that's a guy I want to be associated with, Mark Cuban. <laughs> but also, um, bidets. Yeah, I fucks with them. I'm all about it. My, I didn't know about the blow dryer in there. That's pretty. That's Bro. like additive. I like that. Fragments. I don't. I don't know how that would be. Like 
No. She farted but in front of your whole family, dude. Woke herself up out of a halftime nap, dude. How these people can even live with themselves, <laughs> how they can look at themselves in the mirror. <laughs> they are the lowest of, of the low. I got to say one thing. I got to say one thing. That's why she's an ex. That's why. <laughs> Didn't make the cut. Dude. Fart- City boy! City boy! <laughs> but yeah, I got to say, fucks with the bidet. I'm a fan of that. Um... The only thing I'm concerned about is how do they know to spray the water in there? Is there like a red dot on there where they know exactly where your hole is? Well, you ha- so you I- have to hit a button, John. Yeah. Oh, there's button. an aim. Like button you can adjust the, the aim assist. Like th- this shit's like Call of Duty. It's got aim assist. It's like you need a sniper back. You need a sniper and you need a spotter to get. Bro, that's the- like a fucking. There's joysticks. Like you can. Yo, my boy got aim. Coat. He's got aim bot. <laughs> you got to get the guy who's gonna take in the spin of the earth, the Coriolis effect, just to make sure you get it just right. Bro, it's like the reverse so like you know how like you pee off the poop stains <laughs> the toilet pees the poop stains off hey, you <laughs> but i was off i have surprised. no idea what you're talking about Gio. the water was it's disgusting warm. listen the water was warm oh <laughs> i don't yeah. know what would be worse cold or warm i feel like warm's better you're, you're I, moved, warm. I moved into one place in virginia after an indian family was there and they had a gadget <laughs> hooked up to the um to the toilet faucet itself and it was just a hose with like that fucking nozzle on your kitchen sink that you oh, <laughs> you're getting pure cold water that's all that was there that just stayed there the whole fucking time it was yeah, no baby. no attempts yeah. man like what the hell and that must be all that curry you know <laughs> i got i don't know some so the um the, uh, so this week's after her brought to you by bidets.com and um dude curry. wipes dude wipes and, cur- and dude wipes yeah did you say Ann Curry? Yeah, Ann Curry. Steph Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> Pop, boy. <laughs> this is why we will never get paid. This is also why Matt Lauer was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that dude had like a lock on his door, too, so that was creepy. What? Matt Lauer? Yeah, from nah, the news? He, he got shafted, bro. Didn't he have a lock on his door, too, though? Why don't I remember who the fuck this is? He's from ABC News in the morning, right? The Today MB- Show. NBC, the MBC. Today Show, but... He had a consensual affair with some chick on the show, and it was at the peak of cancel culture, and he was out quick. Mm. But, yeah. I mean, didn't that that shit just happen with, like, the coach of the Celtics? Yeah. He was having an affair with, like, a... the owner's daughter. No. Oh, I I thought it was the owner's daughter. That was, like, like the rumor they were spreading. Yeah. But, like, the girl actually, like, came out. Has there been any news on the uh, sale of the the Washington Commanders today? I, I heard earlier they were supposed to potentially release a new owner of the Washington oh. Commanders. That so could, Bezos is in talks to buy him. I, I think he's I, out. Yeah, I heard that the owner, Dan Snyder, will never sell to Bezos. Never. Yeah. He's like, I hate Bezos. It'll never happen. He's like, and if it does happen, I'm releasing dirt on every owner. So I, I know mean, Bezos is... I don't think Bezos will ever own the uh, Washington football not, team. Not Washington, but he's going to own an NFL team. He's in bed with the NFL already. They they keep he, it in house. He just put a headquarters there in the area. So, yeah. I mean, uh, we should how long see. do you think before we see an expansion to the NFL? I feel like we're getting really close to it. Like, there's definitely cities that want. I mean, you got to go teams. two cities. Like they they might just... go international first. I kind of hope. I would love to see. I, I'd love I to can't see it. see it. No way. I'd love to see it. Though. I feel no. I feel like Roger Goodell. Yes, you want to expand the sport. You want to bring them over. Like you know, multi continent. Like you want to bring them over. But it's just, it's not plausible. I mean, if it I is, just it's going to be it. like a Canada or Mexico. I don't think you're going to see like it a, would. A it would have to be its own division, right? Mexico would be cool to get a team in Mexico. That'd be pretty dope. If you, it would depend where, but like they would have to be in like the NFC West. But could it or be, Canada? Could they be in the National Football? If it do we do we then become the International Football? No, it'll always be the NFL. Well, the NHL has got international teams, and they're still the National Hockey yeah, League. True. Good point. I heard baseball is looking to expand. I heard like Charlotte could get a team. I heard Tennessee can get a team. I heard Buffalo is in the running for a team. And Vegas as well. So I heard they want to add one more team to the MLB. As a diehard Red Sox fan, I can tell you this right now. I think I may have brought this up on a previous episode. 
if Buffalo got an MLB team, I would be the first person to be a Buffalo fan. Diehard Red Sox fan here. I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't care how shitty we are. I don't care how the draft works. I don't care how the picking of like how the NHL does like where you could steal people's players. I don't care how any of that works. I will be a diehard Buffalo fan. No doubt. I I will go to as many games as possible. They are so fun. Just having the Blue Jays here for one summer was so fucking awesome. We, We have the fan base for it. Now... Curious, do you think it just ends up being they end up being like a feeder team like the Pirates? Maybe for a couple of years at first, but I like I'm with Jerry. You get a team in Buffalo, I'm the number one fan. I'm a diehard Yankees guy. You Buffalo gets a team on their I mean, day in as many games as possible. Who's gonna foot the bill? Because But I'm saying, like, Caleb, we would meet you and I. We would together. probably get a, a like a group of seats together. We'd go to as many games as we possibly could. Without a doubt. Just hanging out. Drinking beers, just cheering on new talent. Chilling, cheering on new talent. It'd be awesome. It'd be, it'd be great to have another team to root for. Like I, you cool. would just have to wonder who would be the person that like find like you have Pagula. I mean, obviously, if he wants to keep the whole Buffalo sports thing, he could do it. There's just not a lot of billionaires. Maybe Russell Salvatore. Like I don't even think he's got enough money to do it. Um, do the Jacobs have a baseball team? I know they got hockey. Mm-hmm. They could. They could come in. They they the Jacobs. Do, they do live in Buffalo. Who owns it down north? Jacobs. Jacobs family. Jacobs, family. Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. So yeah. I mean, yeah, they Jeremy the, Jacobs and uh, Chris Jacobs. They own the Bruins. Yep. Yeah. Um, and they do have a home base here in Buffalo. Well, not in Buffalo, but you know, I, in the area. I don't know. The, I don't know how the MLB rules are, though. I don't know if they could own the Bruins and then have a m- local market team because it's technically it would be in competition. Dreams. And Two different sports. Let's do it. I'm about it. I would love if Buffalo had a team. It would be so dope. But need a dome. I don't care need, what they you were need called. A dome. You need a dome. I'd be decked out. I'd have the hats. I'd be rocking the jerseys. Like, whatever. Caleb, I know me and you. Love we'd, be, baseball. we'd be we'd be going to the games, dude. No doubt. I'm a baseball guy. I love it. So I, it'd be oh, it'd be awesome. Yeah, get a dome. I would, I get a would dome love that. though. Get a dome on the stadium. I don't. <laughs> that would be a rough season. You need a dome because those those. April, but who cares those how April... rough the season would be? It'd be so fun. Mm-hmm. Need a lose win? Who gives a shit? That you would, shit would you be would need, fucking fun. You would need a dome. <laughs> we got that weather. Those April that, that games wind, and those September that wind October pick games. Up the bro. ball. That, that home run just. Sinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it would like logistically it would be interesting to see. I would say I think the first expansion for like NFL might be like a San Antonio, another big market like that. I mean, yeah, you could make the argument, oh, three Texas teams, but Texas is big as fuck, dude. So I have a little bit of news that I'll share here. Um, one of our one of our friends. Jeremy Kelly from the Buffalo Bills organization who does all of the uh, legends of the game. And uh, he's, a, he's a local native from West Seneca. Um, friend of mine, friend of ours. Uh, he took a job. He will be leaving the, the Bills organization to go to Carolina to the Panthers. Uh, so sad to see him leave as we talk about Buffalo sports and stuff because he brings so much back to the community. Brings a lot of the legends, a lot of former Bills players into the community to support smaller shops and restaurants and establishments. So he'll be missed, but he's moving on to bigger and better things for him. Congrats, Jeremy. I'll see you Saturday at your farewell. Uh, But let's see what happens next. What's his role with Carolina going to be? Pretty much the same thing, but it's a promotion for him. He's got to establish, you know, I, I can only imagine, I mean, not from a conversation with him, but. You know, getting into a Carolina fan base versus a Buffalo fan base, right? We're deeply rooted, so I'm sure he's got some work cut out for him. Yeah. We're an old, much more established team, older history. Uh, so, but he's the guy to do it. If anybody can do it, J.K. can do it. Very interesting right now that their uh, current head coach, uh, Frank Reich, was also their first quarterback. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like Frank Reich as a coach. I don't know if he was necessarily 
the best head coach available, but hey, I don't own an NFL team and I don't get to make those decisions. That dude's history is phenomenal itself, though. True. Yeah. Frank Reich is a baller, but they've never had an offensive head coach. Uh-huh. All right, guys. With that being said, I'd like to thank our guest, John, for coming on the show. Look for him on an upcoming episode of the Down to Her podcast show. It's going to be awesome. John, real quick, before we end, if you want to uh, just plug all your shit, just go ahead get check it on us, out there. Check us out on CigarVets.club. Look into our monthly or annual memberships. And uh, check us out on uh, Instagram, Cigar underscore Vets. And uh, glad to be here. Had a great time tonight. All right. Thank you, John, for coming on. And I think I can say for me and Gio, awesome. It was a great show. Make sure you guys look for that Down to Her podcast with John on it, returning for the second time. Always great when we have returning guests. Uh, Just make sure you guys follow the Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube page. Like, subscribe, share. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube and the Instagram. Like I said, we got that giveaway. You need both. And look for our bottles at Key Liquors. We only got 21 left. Only at Key Liquors. Once they're gone, never be recreated, never be remade again. It's a great bottle. It's a great drink. Having it here. John's drinking it right now. We're all drinking it. So, guys, make sure you get to that. And uh, once again, thank you. And for all you guys who bought a bottle, we appreciate it. We love you. Sayonara. <laughs>